Hello and welcome to Kids Virtual Yoga. My name is Michelle and this is my friend Emily and she's going to tell you what we're going to do today. Today we're going to be doing three breathing exercises. They are um, good for calming down and de-stressing. Yeah, excellent. So go ahead and come into a seated position and we'll meet you over here on our yoga mats to do some breathing exercises made just for kids. So Emily and I are going to do three breathing exercises today. This is Emily's special rock that she found today. We're going to do three breathing exercises to calm down and just feel a little better, right? Right. So we're going to start with belly breathing using the Hoberman sphere. So if sitting crisscross applesauce isn't comfortable for you, that's okay. You can just come into any seat, seated position that feels good. Emily's going to use the ball to help guide you to inhale when the ball expands and then exhale when the ball closes. And what we're going to be trying to do is breathe in through our nose and try to send air all the way into our torso, into our bellies. Okay, are you ready? Yes. How many belly breaths should we do? Five. Five belly breaths? Perfect number. Okay, here we go. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale. Try to send that breath all the way to your tummy and then let it out. Two. Three. Four, and one more. Five. Good, so that was belly breathing. Now we're gonna do one more kind of, or two more kinds of breathing. We're gonna do volcano breath, but we're gonna do it seated today. So for volcano breath, we're gonna bring our hands to our hearts. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale and let our hands rain down next to us as we exhale. Good, so how many should we do, Emily? Let's do Four again. Four? Okay. So you'll count? Yes. All right, here we go. Volcano breaths. Here we go. Inhale. One. Two. Good. Inhaling. And exhaling. Three. Three. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last one. Good. Okay, so the last breathing exercise we're going to do is alternate nostril breathing. This is one we just learned, right, Emily? Right. So this is a little bit new for Emily, too. So if it's new for you at home, too, that's good. So we're going to take one of our index fingers and point it up. And on that same side of our body, we're going to close this nostril on our side, okay? Is it completely closed? Yeah. So now we're going to just breathe through this nostril three times. Here we go. Take our other hand and we're going to close this nostril, leave this one open and take three deep breaths. One more time on the other side, three deep breaths. Last one on the other side. Let 
go ahead and bring both your hands down now and take a deep breath in and out through both nostrils. How do you feel? Good. Do you feel calmer after breathing like that? I think it's good to help you fall asleep. Yeah, it is good to help you fall asleep too. And it's even good in the morning to breathe like that and just kind of start your day. And just wake up. And wake up. <laughs> or calm down and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Breathing can be used for a lot of things. Yeah? All right, Emily, great job. Thanks for helping everybody at home. Okay.